All right, Cuddy, what do you think about this Hoover Dam nonsense down in the Mojave? Oh, God. Who should win? Who's going to win? Well, I mean, technically, I can only root for the NCR, because they're probably the only ones that wouldn't just try to kill me on sight. What, like you'd be able to join the NCR? Can you imagine them trying to put you into a uniform? It'd be the stupidest looking fucking thing ever. God, you're so ignorant. Plenty of mutants serve with distinction in the NCR armed forces. You're just discriminatory against mutants. Oh, please, they look like clowns, really. Big lumbering mutants. Oh, look at me. I'm wearing a uniform. I'm suddenly more intelligent and dignified. Oh, and what about the special zombie brigade or whatever? Oh, we'd like to pin a medal on you, except it fucking falls off your rotting flesh. <laughs> we don't need your fucking medals because we got killer instincts and natural fucking stealth. See this razor? I could use it like a fucking ninja. What do you know about ninja? We got fucking Nike and they're real fucking ninjas. Fucking very efficient killers. You want to bring Nightkin into this? Okay. Last one I saw was worshipping a fence post. It was crazy as a shithouse rat, just like the rest of them. They are oh, you want to talk about their mental condition? What about you? Mr. talks to himself, making little fucking weird lists in his head, saying it. I'm just organized, because I'm the one who has to keep this ship afloat. You just walk around and fart all over the place, scared off customers. I have a slight bowel condition. But you use it in every argument. No logic or reason. Just make fun of the mutants' farts. Very fucking mature. Slight condition? Last time you made Vermilion vomit. NCR should just deploy you as a biological weapon. You'd be a fucking war hero for him. That's rude. Oh, thank you for proving my point. Mutants can be useful contributors to the NCR armed forces. I win. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up, you fucking bitch. Yeah, don't ask me, freak, motherfucker. Oh, okay. Eat your fucking heart. See fuck. Place freezing. I don't fucking do that. God, shut. Uh, all right then. Why don't we just come back later? Okay. What you got? Finger time. It's no secret that Marco likes to keep expert gunmen in his crew. There's one that stands out above the rest. Angel Lee. He is a gunfighter on par with Doc Friday, and I don't have to tell you how fast that is. I remember Doc Friday! Yeah! Lee is as deadly as a damn snake. Just like with Bill, you need to try and make this an honest case of self-defense. Ah! Lee should be easy to convince, though. He's a duelist. Find some way to get him to draw first, but don't get yourself killed in the process. We do have other questions, though. So where did you get that movie poster, Janet's Baby? Ford put that mess up, I don't even know what the fuck it's about. Babies and demons, some kind of fucked up love story written by perverts. Yeah. Honestly, what kind of demented minds come up with this shit? Whatever happened to thoughtful, quality entertainment? Everything nowadays is just swearing and violence. No depth at all. It's a sign of intellectual regression and moral decline. Really is. Look at me getting distracted by this filth. When you're ready, I've got more of these fucking assholes for you to kill. To me personally, it seems today that all we see is violence in movies and sex on TV. Uh... Ah! That show sucks now. Uh, so we're going back to Frost Hill. What's your opinion on it? That's a complicated matter, my friend. See, the NCR has a bounty out on just about everybody in this here canyon. Thing is, most of them are just outcasts and poor folk. Not really bad, except for Marco and his crew. A lot of them came up here to get away from one type of government or another, be it NCR, Legion, or whatever. Damnable thing is that most of them are loyal to Marco right now, mainly because they see us as part of the NCR. I'm hoping that if we can whittle away some of Marco's muscle, people will start to have a change of heart. I ain't no NCR stooge. Somebody wants to pay me for bounties? Fine. You want me to conquer your territory for you? That dog won't hunt. Yeah. If we can clean out the worst of them, then maybe the NCR will see this place as legitimate. Mm. Might even grant amnesty, or so they say. I doubt it. We got a lot of graves to fill before that's on the table, though. We'll see. Some of them are coming up and filling themselves. 
That lady's naked. There's guns on the ground. We gotta make him draw on us, apparently. Easily done, my friend. Provoke him. I'll just touch his mustache. So. Cunty's arm came all the way out here. <laughs> Did he get all the way over here? <laughs> Back to the saloon to kill another man in the saloon. In self defense. That's in important. In self defense. Is it you? Ah, the great hunter of bounties. I'm going to go out on a limb and propose that you're not here for a game of cards. Or the comfort of a lady. Come now. Relax and have a drink. Well, no. I see no reason to descend into violence like animals. We both know why I'm here. Why don't you meet me outside and we'll settle this. Like boys. You don't lack for confidence now, do you? I only fear one man. And you ain't him. After you. All right, so let's go. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Draw. All right. And this three against one murder him out okay. here in the streets. What a fair fight this Ooh. is. That's enough. I. I'm hurt. God damn it! I surrender. That's what you want, isn't it? I won't fight back. Ugh. You chose a violent path, Lee. It always had to end this way. <sighs> so it does. I should have listened to Mama. Prepare to face summary justice, evildoers. Yes, yes, you don't like Ford. I know, I know. Yeah, that was less of a duel and more of a summary firing squad. <laughs> summary execution. <laughs> Before we leave... Why don't we stop and get another haircut? Cuddy, if I'm not mistaken, I overheard you giving woman advice to that last guy in here. Tell me I'm wrong, please. <laughs> well, that's right. Didn't you always tell me that Barbara gives advice to clients? Just give her some good tips about romance. First, I said to give good advice. Second, calling it romance demonstrates how little you know. Ooh. Oh yeah, women are falling all over for you, Mr. Fucking Melton Skin. <laughs> Please, enlighten me. Okay, first, you need money. Second, you need confidence. Third, if you don't have a big dick, then you better learn how to eat, Buzzy. That's it. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, that's real practical advice for customers. <laughs> hey, come on in. You got a big dick? No? Here's how you eat pussy. <laughs> Never fucking see him again. That's because you explain it like a fucking pervert. You gotta be smooth. Hey, buddy, how are things with the lady? Not good? Oh, here's a little trick you can do. Just like this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I think what you just did counts as sexual assault in some places. Yes, it does. D don't ever do that again. <laughs> I'm gonna go vomit now. <laughs> hey, that's why you can't satisfy the ladies. You don't get down and dirty. Mm, I love it. <laughs> you guys are fucking gross. I'm leaving. <laughs> here is how. Here is how you get a lady. Step one: don't be ugly. But Zach, you have ladies, so that doesn't work. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about step two. If you are ugly, be funny. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Oh my god! Looks like I forgot a landmine. Uh, Ford, you got anything new to say after stepping on that landmine? What you got? How do you get along with the other bounty hunters? Let me guess. They hate you. They learned to fear me right from the start, since I'm a killer. Oh yeah? I'm not afraid to criticize them either. They respect my advice because I am smart. One time this guy got in my face because I told him he was dressed like a girl. I punched him in the balls and he started crying like a bitch. Uh-huh. Nobody fucks with me because they know I'll punch him in the dick if they're lucky. Piss me off good and I'll show you my killer side. I'm pretty sure that happened to you. He's telling actual stories from the other person's point of view. Yes. Why don't you tell me what this killer side is, Ford? I have the spirit of a death jaw. And when I'm stirred up good and proper, I'll unleash the animal inside me. Nothing can stop me then. It's like I'm possessed by some demon. I just kill everything I see. All my enemies piss their pants and flee. Sort of like in the novels. 
I am a mind fucking whirlwind of bullets and mayhem sent by Jesus Christ to make the world right. It is in the Bible. What book? Deuteronomy mostly made up bullshit? I god, I want I want to crush your esophagus so bad. Why are you so critical of everyone and everything around you, Ford? Huh? <laughs> because I'm the fucking best. I've seen and done it all. People should be honored when I take a shit on them. End of story. Oh. My words are like gold nuggets. I shoot for my dick with the speed of a tornado, smashing your face with truth. <laughs> yeah. I want to feed you into a m industrial metal shredder. Randall. What is it, partner? Oh yeah, we killed Angle Lee in self-defense. Here's his finger. Killed him in the same exact way he gunned down so many others. Fitting. Here's a bonus for doing it right. Come on back when you're ready for the next gig. We're coming down to the last of them, so it's gonna be tough. We're ready for another one right now. This time you'll be going after Ketchum, who leads the Hole in the Ground Gang, or as I like to call them, the Glory Hole Gang. Folks say that Ketchum has been with Marco for a long time, Gross. probably since he was in the Plains. He's got a nasty bunch to run with him. See, the Glory Hole Gang does the nasty stuff in places where others won't go. Ah. So Marco always has a job or some place to stick him. On top of running a gang, Ketchum is supposed to be a mad scientist type with explosives. He can open safes or rig up nasty traps all the same. It's not a mad scientist type, that's an engineer. Everybody knows that you're gunning for him now, so that means Ketchum will be ready. Probably has all type of shit in place. You best watch your step, because I don't feel like collecting your guts from some dirty cave. But we just went after somebody who used his booby traps. Yeah, there's even more now? What kind of traps will he be using? The kind that wrap your testicles around your throat. What? Rumor has it that Ketchum likes to hide bombs underneath corpses so that they're not readily visible. Check any dead critters to be safe. Ketchum, what kind of last name is that? I don't know, is his first name Ash? I know, right? What's up, Bear? Oh, he was napping, okay. <laughs> thought the bear just had a heart attack. I thought he just straight up died there. I was concerned for a moment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we gotta go up there. Oh, I think I see the cave. Ah, cave entrance. Very well, very well. Yes. There we go. Ooh, look, a landmine and that area is filled with explodey gas. Yep. Set Problem them, solved. Set them both off. Oh, there's still more explodey gas, though. Okay, in that case, we might not be able to use firearms. Or we could just throw caution to the wind. Oh, you're Shit. Fucked. Yeah. Ow! Ow! Sympathetic detonations. Yep. God damn it, Ford! <laughs> yeah. Is that a... Oh, I thought that was a beaver. Oh my god, that's so many mines. Yeah. Um. Maybe we can disarm them all. Oh, free landmines. If we can disarm them all, free landmines? Free landmines. I mean, I guess technically, yeah. Jesus! Aw, oh, they got set off. Somehow. <laughs> all right, there we go. All right, see, that was much easier to deal with. Mm -hmm. No free landmines, though. Sad. Yeah. I could try it again. Eh, it's fine. I, what the fuck? Oh, was that what set off the landmines last time? Kamikaze cow. Okay. Kamikaze cow. Whoa. I'm not really sure what to make of kamikaze. I'm still reeling from that explosion. Okay, so that was that trap. What's going on over... Oh... Hold your shit! Don't shoot! We surrender! We ain't gonna fight you! Set up goddamn traps night and day, but even that wasn't enough. Well, I say, fuck this. Uh, what do you mean, you surrender? We knew you was coming, and we heard about everything you done, all them people you killed. We don't want no part in this no more. It was Ketchum's dumb idea to pack C4 on Annie and send her to blow you up. I ain't never seen no dumber plan than that shit. It was pretty stupid. 
It worked the first time! Catch him can stick with Marco if he wants, but as for me and the boys, we're walking out of these mountains. Fuck Marco. <laughs> I had considered letting you go, but your use of double negatives irks me. Throw down your weapons and I'll allow you to leave. Seems pretty generous. Oh yeah, never come back. I speak for everybody. When I say we don't ever want to see this place again, thank you. Yeah, they're they're surrendering, so that's fine. If you set up landmines and we set them up on our way out, we're not gonna be happy. All right, catch him. Where are you hiding? Where are you? Uh, he killed himself. I think he left a note, maybe. Okay, let's read it. And there's a hollow tape. So does the note explain why he's dead? Did he kill himself, or did his men frag him? Half the men walked out last night, the other half are just waiting for an opportunity to split. All those years working for Marco amounted to nothing, I guess. Bassett has left us to the mercy of Zuch and Randall. After they find me, I figure the boys will take it as a cue to get out while they can. There's nothing left for us here. Dad always said I'd end up a loser if I left home. Maybe I should have stayed on the farm after all. Hello, is this recording? Oh, okay, it is. Oh, yes, darling, I see the red light. Hello there, this is Bobby Bass. I got your message. <laughs> I wanted to return the message to you. First of all, thank you for reaching out to me. I'm honored. It really, especially in light, you know, I've had a lot of personal tragedies lately. My dog's been killed. My boss is dead. Oh. And you know what? It, it really, it speaks a lot to your character that you reach out to me like that. And that is, oh, it bless your heart, okay? Just really, I, I, I thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, however, I, I'm going to have to say no. Okay, and I'll give you my reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, I, I think Marco, you know, he's your he's your employee. I don't want to disrespect him, but the man strikes me as, as being possessed by Satan, and I don't <laughs> like that kind of characteristic. I already worked for one crazed maniac that had a, you know, this thing for little boys and hatchets, and damn, that just about got me killed. I don't want to mess with that shit. You know, back back at home, I should have listened to my old man Farley. You know, old man Farley, you know, he told me, he said, boy, you need to walk your ass east. Better shit going on up there. You walk your ass out west. There's just deserts and fucking death claws. And you know what? He was half fucking right. I should have fucking gone east. Should have listened to old man Farley. But here, last, here I am. Okay, now, now Mr. Ketchum, I know you've got a good reputation. You're good with them bombs and wires and shit. I can't ever do that. I don't know how they do it. I try to cross the fucking wires. I just, no, shit would just blow up, melt me to fucking pieces. They have to mount me on the fucking wall. Uh, you know, and, and speaking of which, I, I got expenses. I'm trying to get my dogs taxidermied. Uh, <laughs> what? Fucking Bishop and Taint. They saved my ass from a crazy kid, and I can't fucking get them taxidermied. People look at me like I'm crazy, but this series, I want to immortalize them. So I'm working on another job. I don't know if it's going to work out. Again, I oh, I should have should have listened. Should have listened to man. You know, Mr. Ketchum, though, no, really, I'll pray for you. I hope you do okay. I think you've got great things ahead, but seriously, take, take this bit of advice. If this is off the record, get the fuck away from Marco, man. Get the fuck out of them mountains. Come on back west, man. Come, 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 come. Work with me. Work with me. I know you're not crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy. That's that's the reputation, anyways. Come work with me. We'll do some good things here, okay? I'm thinking of starting actually an establishment, a gentleman's club. I'm gonna call it the Buttered Biscuit, and oh, you oh, the can buttered be, biscuit. A, be a part of this new bold venture in commerce. And that's what we're going to do. So come on down. I got the Buttered Biscuit getting off the ground off in the NCR. Luckily, I had to change my name. Uh, but I'm pretty sure you'll find me. So look for the butter biscuit. So again, thank you so much. You take care now. Lovely. <laughs> what wonderful. I, you know, I kind of didn't think we would ever hear from Bobby Bass again. It definitely brightens my day, though. Yeah. What a character. And no booby traps on the way out. Okay, looks like they legitimately surrendered after all. Some might say, Zach, why would you kill a woman who is obviously pregnant? but then let a bunch of people who planted booby traps to kill you go. And to them I say, you you don't understand what a bitch Aster was. <laughs> I'm out of here! Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, we're gonna get in trouble because they found out we let him go. Uh, so, uh, how's it going? Can't help but notice that you murdered all those people. Good 
good job! They they had eluded us as we went for the the final target. And we definitely killed the final target. Oh my god, you guys aim, aim, use the sights. <laughs> Alright. Hi, Thorn. Admiring the handiwork. <laughs> you eventually did hit them. Good job. Yeah, nice work, asshole. Boy, all this murder sure puts me in a good mood. I think I'll get a haircut! <laughs> All right, Cuddy, we've been over this before, but it's unresolved. Who is the baddest motherfucker in the whole wasteland? Uh, I gotta think about that one. Um, maybe Django Westwood. Mm, maybe. Uh, I also heard of John Goodman. He's pretty crazy. That's just a movie actor. Uh, it's pretty much like Atlantis. Not bad, but I still think it's Doc Friday. Great Pistolero. He's also smooth with the ladies. He's pretty he's cool. He's a fucking hero. That's what he is. You always pick him because he's a fucking ghoul. He's like <laughs> your little fucking hero. You want to get a fucking action figure of him so you can play with it? You're just jealous because the ghouls have legitimate heroes. What are the mutants got? Nothing. Hmm. Well, I guess you're going feral already, turning into a fucking idiot. <laughs> you never heard a bad motherfucker. He's yeah. the baddest fucking mutant ever. Yeah. Oh, I heard of him. He only says one word, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a retard. Why don't you make a fucking <laughs> statue out of him? Fucking dumbass mutants. I swear to God, you're going fucking feral. Bad motherfucker is not a retard. He is a fucking philosopher. He changed my life. <laughs> he is, really. You know what? Why don't you just go marry him? You can start your own little fucking mutant butt fuck cult. That's <laughs> what it will be. Butt fuckism. All right, I'm going to have to start wearing a helmet because you're, you're gone feral. You're going to try to eat my brains. <laughs> Full fucking zombie mode here, clearly. That's taking it too far, you mean-spirited son of a bitch. <laughs> fucking calling me the Z-word. You don't even know what that means. You ever seen a feral? Oh, I've got a great example. Doc Friday. Feral fucking zombie. <laughs> I said it. Zombie. Jeez. Whoa, no. You just fucking shit in my hat right there. Get the fuck out of here. You're fired. Get the fuck out of my barbershop right now. Damn. No, no. This is a partnership. I got half interest. I I'm firing you, motherfucker. You get the fuck out of my half. Don't touch my shit. Fine. We'll paint a line down the middle. I'm going to steal all your fucking customers because you're a shitty barber and you're fucking ugly. Oh, like they were coming in here because of your good looks. If we'd put you on the fucking sign or the billboard or whatever, they'd burn this fucking place down. <laughs> I see your lips moving, but I just hear dog shit coming out of them. We're we'll throw back your shit. Stay on your half of the building. Oh no. But your ass I will start with Well what about the vending machine? Be a lot of fucking work. <laughs> you wanna just get drunk? Oh shit, that's a good point. I don't wanna lift shit. Let's just get drunk. <laughs> Alright? And scene. That was great, you two. That was great. Uh, I really like the energy. Thanks for coming to this table read. I think we might have our new actress for The Odd Couple. Where's my haircut? <laughs> oh. Legs don't look very sexy when they're not attached to a whoop. Here, hang on. I'll make it sexy again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> yes. 